So I was hoping to eventually be making videos about traveling all over the country and doing really cool stuff. And I did that for a little bit, um, <laughs> but something pretty crazy happened. I totaled my car. And so I had built this really cool bed. I wish I had a bit more pictures of it, but my car is gone now, so I can't take pictures of it in my Honda Fit. And it was really sweet. I was able to live out of my Honda Fit, work off my laptop and travel all over the country, meet all kinds of really cool people. And it was absolutely the lifestyle I wanted to be living. I wrote a book, it's on my website called uh, Digital Nomads. It's about how to become a digital nomad. And the irony is, is that I'm no longer a digital nomad. Um, after the, my car wrecked, I kind of had uh, an epiphany that I was getting already exhausted from traveling on the road and not being around people. I really thrive on connecting with people individually and it just wasn't allowing me to do that. So I now I'm living in Omaha, Nebraska. Just wanted to give an update here to my YouTube channel. I haven't been posting very much lately. Um, my life has been <laughs> pretty crazy and in a good way and in a bad way. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. I totaled my car, I'll put up a picture here. It was kind of crazy um, and it was totally my fault. I hit someone from behind. They were driving really slow on the interstate. It was nighttime, I was tired. I really just wasn't paying attention enough and all of a sudden they were right in front of me. I luckily grew up in Pennsylvania and I've swerved out of the way of many deer, so I swerved out of the way and uh, avoided a really bad crash that could have hurt both of us really badly. Uh, no one got hurt besides the absolute, you know, wreckage of two people that he lived in his car too. So both of us lost our homes that night and that was Pretty devastating. I ended up stranded in Moab, Utah, which is a beautiful place. Some of my stuff is still there in a storage unit. I stayed at a hostel called the Lazy Lizard, met some really awesome people. You know, life is literally just about the experiences. So especially living like that, just is kind of the lifestyle that I, you know, was expecting to be living it was just crazy stuff happening all the time. And it really was. And now I'm trying to readjust to some stability. So maybe I'll be making more YouTube videos because I actually have a place to film now. I'm working out of a co-working space called Populous in Omaha. It's really cool. They have this little podcast studio that I'm in right now so I can record some nice audio. And um, yeah, I got lots of ideas for videos that I could be making. I'm kind of constantly stuck in existential crisis of how to define myself and define, you know, what this is, if I have like an online brand or whatever it is, or just personally what it is that I'm trying to put out. I did the whole create more, consume less thing. That's kind of still my motto. So that's still kind of what I'm doing here. And this is literally just me being like, I need to create more things. I've been kind of depressed lately. Um, and I think part of the reason is, is because I haven't been creating very much. I haven't been editing any videos. I haven't been doing any of this stuff. I've just been trying to scramble to get by because I got myself into, um, you know, a rough financial situation just because of the, the wreck and then moving into a new apartment. Any of the money that I had saved up is kind of gone now. And now I'm just trying to scrape by to get back on my feet and get back to a place where I feel comfortable. So thank you for watching any of these videos. A couple of my videos weirdly blew up in the last couple of months. The M. Taylor review, uh, was really big, I think, because they've been doing ads. And I still, the, the blue shirt that I talk about in that ad is still one of my favorite shirts. Every other piece of clothing I've gotten through M. Taylor has fallen apart eventually, which what can you expect for like a $60 piece of clothing? But that $60 piece of clothing, the, the blue um, heavy fabric shirt is great. I'm actually thinking about buying more of those. If you're interested in trying out M. Taylor, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. That's not the point of this video at all. But if you want to save some money and try it out, go for it. It's cool. It's a pretty cool service. Um, but yeah, I will be making some more videos soon. I hope to have a little more like direction to a video. But car totaled, living in Omaha, things are weird. <laughs> and uh, you know, thanks for watching my videos sometimes. I appreciate you. Bye.